Yo, what's up, my Fragalicious people? Nice to see you guys this afternoon. Uh, I have been tagged in a video quite some time ago, and now I am going to get around to it. So, this video's tag is four fragrances that'll put hair on your chest. I already have it. It ain't from fragrances, but let's proceed. <laughs> it's DB. Now I'm about to take you behind the nonsense. So, uh, I was tagged in this video uh, <clears throat> by my boy BroSense. Um, I kind of find this uh, odd, but it's all in fun, man. It's a way to tag people, get people acquainted with each other. It's also a way to get uh, fragrances. It's, it's a way to, another way to label fragrances. So, mine will be in order from the least to put uh, hair on your chest to the most probable to put hair on your chest, if you will. <clears throat> um, my interpretation, uh, I mean, maybe I've watched their videos. Uh, theirs was more on the side of uh, extremely harsh, maybe even um, not so good smelling fragrances. Mine are not that. Mine are the way that I'm going to do it, the way that I interpret the message is something that'll make you smell manly, like really manly. Um, and that's exactly what I am going to do with what I have. So let's quit all this yakety schmackety, all this talking, and let's get down to the nitty gritty of it all. So at number four, we are going to have Bodacia the Victorious Ardent. Now, when you smell this, and the reason that I picked this, this is very strong. When you pick this, you grab a rose, but it's a manly rose. And when you spray this on and somebody walks by you, they're going to say, who's that man? Does he got hair on his chest? <laughs> uh, out of the four that I decided to put in this video, this is probably the least That'll put some hair on your chest, maybe some peach fuzz, a little hair around certain areas, maybe a little happy trail. So uh, what I mean by this is uh, uh, it, it does lean a touch feminine, but it is for the younger crowd, in my opinion, who can pull something off like this. You would have to be a very nice built eye candy type of guy with hardly any chest hair to pull this one off. Let's continue. My number three isn't this batch in particular, but I do not own a full bottle. I refuse to own full bottles, and that is uh, Aventus by Creed. When you wear Aventus by Creed, somebody walks past you and they say to themselves, man, what dude smells that good? Um... This, to me, is one of those guys that have a hairy chest, but they keep it well trimmed, if you will. Um, this is going to grab your attention, but to me, it's not something that somebody looks and says, man, what a beastly backwood man with a nice, big, thick, hairy chest. No, but to wear it, it will make you smell manly. You will get attention by wearing any Aventus, no matter what batch it is. My opinion, the fruitier batches are a little less likely to put hair on your chest. The more smokier batches, in my opinion, are very well-rounded for the hairy chests. So, next. This one here is, to me, is a guy with a lot of hair on his chest. Not quite on his back yet. <laughs> but um, when you smell these type of fragrances, and the reason that I'm using this one is I, I just recently reviewed it. I feel like when people smell this, they think of... An older man and I guarantee you when you think about this you think of a <clears throat> you know uh, semi buff you know 60 65 year old man definitely got hair on his chest me when I spray it, I, I, I feel uh, like one of those wiry haired Italians to be honest with you might be wrong but that would be Paul Sebastian <clears throat> to me 
any barbershop fragrance that is a true barbershop fragrance is definitely a manly smell. You have to be a man with a nice hairy chest to be able to pull this off. You are not going to get the younger crowd to gaga all over you. That is for sure. Um, but if you are a 42-year-old man, you are going to definitely get a 55-plus-year-old woman chasing you down trying to figure out what you're wearing. Now, my next fragrance, my number one fragrance, um, when you wear this, you're just an all-out hairy man. It takes a man to pull off this next fragrance. And if you do not pull this fragrance off and people do not think you are a hairy-chested man, you are not wearing it right. And that is Mancero's, Mancero's Red Tobacco. <clears throat> when I think of red tobacco, I think man. I don't know too many women who wear a straight tobacco fragrance. I doubt in my lifetime I will ever see that. Who knows? Um, I won't get all political about what I was going to say, but to wear Mancero's Red Tobacco, you are a man's man. You wear this and people automatically know you're a man. It's going to get either complete negative, like, oh my God, that dude smells terrible. And you're thinking of some nasty backwoods dude with a beard clear down to his kneecaps, wearing a Daniel Boone hat. Or you might go the other way and say, man, that stuff smells real good, but only a true man could pull that off. Uh, I find myself in the category of only a true man could really pull that off. Um, it's definitely, when you spray this, you are definitely going to get noticed. There is absolutely no doubt about it. If you are a hairy chested man <laughs> and you do not want to get noticed in a gym as you're working out, please leave Mancera's Red Tobacco alone. You are going to get noticed. But if you are a man who does not care who, what, where, why, and when anybody sees you, and you are definitely a hairy chested man as I am, that is for you then. Wear it all day long. Spray a high dose because <laughs> you're going to get noticed. So those are my top four fragrances that will definitely put air on your chest. Um, I'm only going to tag a couple people. <clears throat> I see that he changed his name. Uh, pardon me if I get it wrong. I believe it is the Mast Reviewer or Black Mask Reviewer, something like that. But um he was formerly known as the uh, Black Mask Fragrance Reviews. Uh, I tag you in this, man. Let's see what you got going on with some fragrances. And um, Pastor Smell Good, I'm going to tag you in this one. Um, I love your upbeat. I know you're an upbeat, energetic guy who loves fragrances. I'd really, really, really like to see uh, what you find as a four fragrances that will put hair on your chest. So those are my two tags, guys. If I left you out and you want to do it, by all means, go ahead and do it. This is my way of shouting out some people that I feel like deserve. Um, I'm going to tag uh, Mark Carter from Firehouse Fragrances in it too, man. Um, <clears throat> you're a man's man for sure. Uh, I don't think you give a crap what you put on, brother, as long as you think it smells good. I want to tag you in it too. So those are my tags. This is my review, and this is DB. I just took you behind the nonsense. Y'all have a good one now.